Hi, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Pudhilam with a research methodology and intellectual property rights class video 21 RMI 56. It is fifth semester uh, students of uh, Vishashra Technological University, all stream. Uh, this is module 3 and part 3, uh, video class uh, part 3. Okay, so um, hi, here I am covering uh, the highlighted portion of the syllabus, which is covering the course outcome 3 to know the fundamentals of patent laws and drafting procedure okay so the availability of uh, study material is there in this particular textbook which is mentioned in the syllabus so covering syllabus of specification drafting of a patent specification introduction patent specification provisional specification complete specification and parts of the complete specification i'm covering in this based on that uh, the question is framed with uh, uh, level 3 revised diplomas taxonomy level 3 analyze and outline the essential aspects of a patent specification including drafting process the significance of uh, introduction uh, okay the introduction the distinction between provision and complete uh, uh, specification and in-depth examination of the components comprising a complete specification emphasizing various parts involved okay so or simply you can ask question uh, brief about or uh, analyze uh, or uh, explain uh, the patent specification that will be more than sufficient i covered it uh, uh, used uh, ai tools to frame this one uh, so it framed it and gave like this okay now uh, patent specification patent specification uh, it's actually uh, uh, plays a very vital role to claim about our uh, patent, what type of patent we are uh, we are having, and uh, it, 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 the, the description or the specification make it's very easy to pub get it published. Okay, so a well structured and clear patent specification, it is a very vital plays a vital role for both legal and practical reasons. So it uh, ensures that the invention is fully and accurately described, helps. Uh, define the scope of patent protection it facilitates uh, communication with the stakeholders and uh, it complies with the legal requirements so patent applicants and their patent legal representative the one who is applying for the patent if he is done so many times then he only can do otherwise it's better to take the advice of a legal representative a patent legal representative uh, who is an official uh, working uh, in the same field or an agent who is expert in that field so that is needed and they also have to uh, do it very carefully even though they are expert that still they have to do it very uh, uh, carefully because clarity is very important so importance of clarity uh, the legal requirement the enablement avoiding ambiguity facilitates pattern examination effective communication these are the points which are important yeah, because uh, legal requirement if you say clarity is it is not a recommendation yeah, because the specification is not uh, recommended so clarity is very required so it, it is a legal requirement in the patent law uh, the patent uh, specification it must be crafted or drafted in a such a way that not crafted it should be drafted in such a way that it is very clear and easy to understand by someone who is uh, who is skilled in that uh, particular uh, field or relevant field uh, failure to do so if your uh, uh, clarity is not there it results in uh, difficulties during the examination process and uh, um, so many challenges uh, potential challenges uh, one has to undergo if uh, clarity is not there uh, enablement uh, one of the primary uh, purpose of uh, specification is to uh, it to enable someone who, who is skilled in the field of uh, field of that same field to try to replicate it to do do it uh, uh, get it done uh, as per the description which is given because any invention if you say uh, the follow method in, uh, using method if you if it can be done a new method and if you uh, apply for patent then people will try the uh, officers they will allot someone who is in the same field may allot someone who is in the same field to to replicate it okay so if uh, 
the clarity is there then replication is easy otherwise again it will uh, end up in uh, confusion uh, uh, or delaying uh, getting patterned so it avoid ambiguities uh, clarity it helps uh, to, to eliminate the ambiguities uh, and the uncertainties uh, in the description so pattern examiner and the and the uh, court they always prefer unambiguous uh, language to be used uh, so that there is there is no multiple interpretation a single interpretation everybody will understand in the same way so it avoid the ambiguity uh, it facilitates uh, patent examination so during the patent examination process uh, if a uh, clarity is there in the return or specification uh, then it makes the uh, uh, people who are working there uh, the patent office uh, to complete the procedure at the earliest so an examiner can uh, more easily assess uh, whether the invention uh, it has got the required criteria whether it is having potentiality uh, whether if if the specification is clear and uh, if it is very very uh, perfect or concise and it is very logically organized if if the uh, pattern specification so it means it, it is having clarity then effective communication a well drafted pattern uh, it always serves as a communication tool it conveys the technical details uh, of the invention to the a patent office or the, uh, the licensee or the investor or to the public. So the clarity it enhances communication and understanding among all these uh, st stakeholders. Now what are the uh, components of a specification? The same uh, things we'll explain one, 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 one more which is called as a complete specification but here I have to tell here only. Okay so the patent specification it consists of uh, several uh, uh, components like uh, title background etc uh, for for their own uh, specific purpose uh, in describing the invention or or uh, defining uh, the scope of the work okay so the title it provides uh, a very concise uh, but a very informative description of the invention uh, it should be specific enough so that uh, uh, the reader can uh, get a general idea of the inventions subject matter from the title itself the background section it provides the context of the invention uh, it tells about the technical field uh, in which the invention it, it will ap apply or the problems or the challenges uh, to address with that invention and any existing solution or uh, any other uh, relevant uh, uh, work to that invention also will be available in that background. So detailed description, uh, actually this is the heart of a specification and detailed description. So it offers a thorough and uh, comprehensive explanation of the invention. Uh, details uh, include uh, how the invention it is made, uh, how, it work, how it is working, uh, how it can be used. So the diagrams or drawings uh, and uh, uh, examples are often included uh, to enhance the understanding. Now claim, the claim uh, section it defines the, the legal boundaries of the invention's protection. Uh, one can give uh, two or more than uh, one claims and uh, which specify the unique features of or the elements of the invention. Each, each claim should be clear, it should be concise and supported by the detailed description. The abstract, uh, it provides a brief summary of the invention, uh, highlighting uh, its uh, essential technical features and the advantages. Drawings and figures, uh, that is the, the visual aids, uh, the drawing and diagram of figures, uh, we call it as visual aids. Uh, it will significantly uh, enhance the clarity of the specification. So by seeing the diagram itself, one can understand, we can understand what is this invention or how is that, how, what are the different 
uh, how does it will work and what is its application whether it is patentable or not uh, clarity will get uh, uh, if uh, good drawing is uh, or figures are given uh, sequential listing uh, if applicable only because it is mainly in biotechnological uh, uh, invention uh, that is the, the genetic sequencing uh, cases if needed it, it need to be uh, given then reference and citation any reference uh, of the paper published or prior art uh, or related patents uh, it should be uh, appropriately uh, cited in the specification to provide uh, the context and support for the uh, for, for the invention okay so drafting of a patent specification uh, that is the next uh, term drafting a patent specification it involves uh, the careful and uh, detailed uh, description of the invention its features and the manner in which it is to be performed so the goal is to clearly precise or convey the innovative aspects of the invention to the patent office and the public okay so i am giving uh, the uh, uh, material available uh, from the, the our indian patent website okay so indian patent website the snapshot is given actually to this snapshot actually you can go to this web page this is the address of web page uh, 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 ip inda ip india dot gov dot in so there you can see the uh, web page here everything is given in detail what are the different um, uh, fee structures uh, the fee structures of each stage uh, when we complete uh, what what are what are the fees we have to pay for the uh, for patenting our work how much is the fee any clarity any doubt if you have you can download this this is a pdf form it you can download and you can see the application also given all, all other documents are also available so i took uh, the some of the uh, the application uh, i downloaded and um, I kept here to, for a reference to you. So this is the form, called as form one. It tells what are the uh, things to be filled. Uh, everything it is mentioned in that clear, clearly. So again, it, uh, some of the terms will make us complete uh, confusing. Therefore, whether uh, it should be you should be done it many times, so then you can continue. Otherwise, better to ask uh, uh, some uh, people who have already published many patents uh, or at least at least published many patent though not claimed no not uh, given granted because uh, once we apply it will be published in the patent office once it is it is meets the requirement but uh, that is only publication but the patent to be granted means then uh, uh, it needs other procedures further procedure people they will publish it first then they will go for the uh, grant okay so now we'll go to the introduction the introduction already introduced everything detailed uh, explanation given so same thing uh, but since it is given in the question it is mentioned uh, pattern specification it serves as a legal document for the protection sought for the invention so written description uh, and diagrams uh, drawing everything can be added to that uh, to give more clarity provisional specification uh, okay provisional specification is an uh, initial filling uh, filing uh, which provides a relative broad and information informal description to the invention uh, so that uh, one uh, uh, staff can uh, can make your invention um, say reserved uh, because someone else may invent the same thing uh, so you can say that you, your invention is first so it establishes an early filing date that's at the meaning of a provisional specification both the provisional specification and uh, complete specification so it's called as form 2 i uh, represent given showing here okay so this side it is provisional specification uh, so initially if you are going for only provisional uh, specification it, it has got less details uh, so the main important uh, component you can mention here and you can uh, submit it uh, later stage uh, uh, when you go for uh, examination or a detailed one so you have to give the complete uh, specification also okay so that's complete specification it is a more detailed and uh, formal document uh, include a uh, comprehensive description of the invention uh, it highlighting the novelty inventive steps and uh, area industry applicability uh, uh, 
the complete specification is very crucial for the examination process and the determining the, the patentability of the uh, invention. Now parts of the complete specification as I explained already, uh, it, sh it should have a title, the field of invention, uh, background, uh, summary of the invention, brief description of drawing, detailed description, claims uh, and abstract. So thank you for uh, this particular uh, uh, watching my video. Uh, uh, please do subscribe if not subscribed. My YouTube channel is my intuition 4865. Once again, thank you and have a nice day.